Welcome to the HR LD podcast, Bite Sized, the show that explores the latest trends and insights impacting people centric leaders, human resources professionals, and learning and development specialists. With me, your host, Nick Gay. These are short snippets from my main podcast show that feature expert guests sharing their knowledge and experiences to help you stay up to date with the latest best practices and strategies impacting the future world of work. Remember, if you need support recruiting talent for your HR business, please do get in touch with myself or any of my wonderful experienced recruitment colleagues at jgarecruitment.com. But for now, sit back, grab your favourite beverage, and let's get started with today's bite-sized episode. I see a lot of organizations and a lot of people, when it comes to their performance, they focus on their ability or they focus on their skills. Yeah. Right. And and while all of that is important, and we have covered this from an individual perspective of Guilty. coaching, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah. all of that is important. But at the same time, when we work with teams, when we work in organizations, big and small, the culture of the team, the the mood and the energy of the team and the organization plays a huge role. So I I actually have a, an equation where I say performance is equal to ability plus the size of the company into the culture. The smaller the company is, the smaller your team is, your individual ability basically defines a huge amount of your performance. So if you are part of a startup which is five people, your individual ability of each person will drive the performance, your your performance and also the company's performance. But once you are working in a 50 people company, as the size increases, the culture part of the performance equation grows bigger and your ability while it remains uh, like the, the starting factor it's it's the platform on which you build performance but the culture can actually I- inhibit performance or it can pull it up okay. it can have these two impacts and the bigger the company the impact of the culture is the larger and especially in large corporates especially in large companies where tens of thousands of people are working uh, the impact that the culture has. Uh, I think a missing conversation in companies that whenever there is poor performance, whenever there is lack of performance, people look at individuals rather than looking at the culture. So people look at what can we shift? How can we shift this person? Or how can we train this person better to improve the performance? Instead of asking, what can we do with the culture so that it does not just increase the performance of this person, but also everybody who is impacted by something sure. about the culture. Especially with teams and organizations, I think culture is a huge blind spot which we do not uh, look at. We do not go into like breaking it apart and then pulling it, putting it back together in a way that allows for performance rather than inhibit inhibiting performance. I hope you enjoyed today's bite-sized edition of the HR L&D podcast. Remember to subscribe to the show, share it with all of your HR colleagues and friends. And why not also check out some of our previous episodes for more golden nuggets that may just help you along in your own people career journey. For now, I'm Nick Day and you'll be listening to the HR L&D podcast, Bite Sized.